What's happening guys? Greg Hap here from Menagerie Studio. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make some of the graphics from Good Mythical Morning. Let's talk about that. Let's hop into After Effects and take a look at what we're gonna be creating exactly. So, pretty simple, pretty slick. Uh, just having the chicken sandwich animate on. So, initially, um, this kind of came about as I was doing some freelance work for fellow YouTuber Travis S. He was doing a Shake Shack taste test where he was going through the whole menu and trying each menu item out. And uh, he had asked me to make some sort of title slide for each menu item. So my initial inspiration came from the Good Mythical Morning taste test and just kind of having the the sandwich cut out, the, the menu item cut out some sort of cool stuff going on around it so as you can see that's kind of the direction I took it so uh, yeah let's jump in and see how we did it all right here we are in After Effects come up composition new composition we'll just name this title slide one not two and we'll come down to duration and just do five seconds Okay, now we're just gonna drag in our background layer. And uh, I just kinda went onto the Shake Shack website, found a few assets to play around with, uh, you know, just kinda got creative with it. So we got a background layer here. We're gonna hit S on the keyboard for scale. Bring this up to 350%. As you can see, that doesn't look great right now, but that's okay. We're gonna come over here to effects and presets and just type blur. And we specifically want camera lens blur. So if we just click and drag that onto the layer, that looks perfect right there. It kind of just smooths out some of the jagged edge. All right, so next we're gonna animate this background a little bit. And to do that, we're gonna hit P on the keyboard for position. Click this little stopwatch here to create a keyframe. Come to the end of our composition here at five seconds. And we'll just click and drag. And as you can see, we get a little line here that kind of shows the path that our background is taking. And we're just gonna do something like that, not quite off to the edge. Just have it go at a diagonal, so when we play it back, just kind of cycles through. Gives it a nice little parallax effect. Okay, next we are going to go back into the project and drag our chicken sandwich on top of the background come in, hit S on the keyboard, and we're gonna scale this up to 150%. Now we're going to cut this sandwich out from the background. Uh, there's the new roto brush effect that works great in a pinch. I do like to stick with the old school way. So we're gonna do that here. We're gonna come up to the pen tool or G on the keyboard. We're just gonna start wherever, wherever works and we'll just start cutting this out. And with these little pinpoints, I'm just clicking and dragging. And when you drag, you get these two little nodes that kind of lets you make a little bit less jagged edges. So when you click and drag, there we go. I'm just gonna do this kind of quick for our sake. Feel free to get as precise as you like. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the better job you do here, the easier time you'll have going forward. So let's just speed this up. Okay, as we're coming to the end here, we're just going to click on the beginning of our mask and that will close the mask. We're gonna fit up to 100% to get back to here. And if we click off, we see we have a nice cut out chicken sandwich <laughs> looking good all right so click on the chicken shot <laughs> oh my gosh this tutorial double m on the keyboard to bring up your mask properties and we're just going to give this a tiny bit of feather just two pixels is enough um and just to complete this we will right click on the layer come up to layer styles and give this just a nice subtle drop shadow looks good looks good so next we will come into P for position and I'm just gonna position this down a little bit maybe 583 just to center it up a little bit more and now we will animate this chicken sandwich onto the screen so as we did with the background click the keyframe for position on the chicken sandwich if we hold shift page down that'll skip ahead 10 frames for us 
and we'll go ahead and create another keyframe there. Click this little arrow to take you back to the first keyframe and we're just gonna click and drag this out of the frame. Perfect. Looks good. Now to smooth out this animation a little bit, I'm gonna click highlight these keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard. That'll do the little easy ease technique that we love to use with these keyframes all the time. We'll come to this here graph editor. And if it doesn't look like this when you click on it, it may be showing the value. You're gonna wanna make sure to come down to this little choose graph type and options and do the speed. So if we highlight the last keyframe here, hold shift on the keyboard, click, drag that in, we'll get a nice quick in, ease out. So we'll go ahead and give that a look. Looks good to me. We'll come out of our graph editor just by clicking on that again. Okay, so next we're gonna add some text to this. We'll come up to the text tool or control T on the keyboard, uh, click anywhere. I'm using the font Azio Sans. I really like this font. Black italic, uh, 222 pixels, and uh, we're gonna go with all caps. So this menu item in particular is called Chick-N, the Chicken Shack. We'll just make sure we're selected on that text we just created. Make sure we're center aligned in the paragraph tab. Come over to the align tab. If this is not showing up down here, we're just gonna come up to window. Make sure it's showing. Oh, I just made it go away, look at me. Align and click center align. So now we're right in the center of our composition. So now we want this uh, we want this title to be tucked behind our sandwich. So that's really simple. We'll just drag, drop it underneath. Next, let's animate this font in. We'll come back to the beginning here. Click on our text, hit P on the keyboard, select the keyframe. We'll just come ahead 10 frames by using shift page down, or you can do it manually if you don't wanna to go to quite to 10. This is just a quick little easy way. Create another keyframe, come back to the beginning, and we'll just bump this right out of frame. Highlight those keyframes, F9 for easy ease. Come into the graph editor, highlight, shift on the keyboard, and click and drag. Boom. Looking good, looking good, looking tasty, making me hungry. Okay, real quick before we continue, we're just gonna add a little bit of motion blur to this just by clicking on this little tab here, the motion blur tab. So as you can see, it's got some nice motion blur when it animates it. Perfect, okay. Next, uh, what I did in the original was kind of just break down what exactly is on this sandwich. So we'll click here in our composition with the type tool. Uh, we're gonna just use a uh, font size of 60 here. I'll uh, just make it a little bit smaller. And what I did was go onto the Shake Shack website and uh, just get what exactly is in this sandwich in particular, copied it, and we're just gonna paste it right into here. So we got Crispy chicken breast, over lettuce, pickles, buttermilk, herb, mayo. Sounds good. Uh, and then I just added these couple little dashes here just to give it a little bit of flair, I don't know. So now that we have that, we're gonna wanna animate that on. So we'll make sure we're selected down here in the timeline. Come back over to effects and presets. Type in typewriter. This is a quick little easy animation that's super useful in a bunch of different scenarios. Uh, so as you can see, it'll just type on, um, but the pre-made animation is a little slow, a little sluggish. U on the keyboard, that'll bring up any keyframes on that layer. We're going to come to the beginning here, hold shift, page down twice to bring us to 20 frames. That's where we're gonna want this animation to end. Perfect. We're gonna highlight these, F9, you know the deal. Come into the graph editor, click, drag holding shift, bada boom, bada bing, it ain't no thing. Cool. Okay, so next we are going to highlight all of the layers, come up, pre-compose. Uh, we'll just type in uh, title slide, one pre-comp. Uh, these settings are fine. Click OK. 
All right, so now all those layers turned into one single layer. So we're gonna come here to four seconds toward the end of our timeline, and we will select the layer, P on the keyboard again, create another keyframe, hold shift, page down twice to bring us ahead 20 frames, and we're gonna just take the X value and drag it. I guess that'd be the Y value, wouldn't it? Hmm. Anyways, drag it right out of frame, same deal as before, we will highlight these keyframes, F9 on the keyboard, come into the graph editor, and for animating out, I like to do the opposite of animating in, so grab the first keyframe in this situation, click holding shift and drag it, so now you have a nice, comes on in, and goes out. Comes in, says what it needs to say, and goes out. Looks pretty good. And just for this end animation here, we're gonna wanna make sure that we have motion blur selected on the pre-comp as well. That'll just about do it, guys. Hope that was helpful. Hope you can take it in whatever direction you see fit for your project. While you're here, please leave a comment down below. Let us know if there's anything you'd like us to discuss a little more in depth. Please. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, it helps us out a lot. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime we put out a video. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out. See you in the next one.